What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out WWE wrestlers who were killed in movies and or TV shows. This should be a very interesting one. Wrestlers getting a uh, movie and TV roles, and they ultimately get sent to the gulags in that movie and or TV show. So we should check this out. I'm looking forward to checking this out. Um, should be interesting to see what movies and TV shows these wrestlers actually appeared in. I'm very interested to see this. So I appreciate all the love and support you guys shown on the channel. Link to the original video will be down below. Videos by Tap Out Corner. Subscribe to him if you haven't already let's get into this one. wrestlers can do all kinds of things in movies that they can't do in wwe like die well the big show has was that was that Shawn michaels <laughs> oh man damn hbk you went out like that that's that's cold. <laughs> the Big Show has appeared in a lot of movies, one of them being the 2015 film Vendetta. In it, Big Show plays a criminal who gets revenge by killing the pregnant wife of the detective who arrested him. The detective, named Mason Danvers, wants to get his own justice, so he intentionally gets himself arrested. Now inside the prison, Danvers plans on killing the man who murdered his wife and unborn child. The entire film builds to an all-out prison riot with inmates and guards fighting one another. Mason and the Big Show, of course, end up in a one wow. fight. Big Show show is a giant but even goliath died by a sword oh wow oh damn damn that was <laughs> whoa this nigga big show got sent to the gulags for real yay Liv Morgan isn't shy that she's Damn. a child's play, and more specifically, the star of the franchise. Sean oh yeah, I think I did see this. I think uh, I did see like a clip of this. They were kind of promoting this, and this I believe she had this on like Twitter or uh, Instagram, maybe. But uh, I, I think I did see this. In 2022, Morgan got to live her dream when she guest starred on the Chucky TV series. Mm -hmm. Liv Morgan. Yeah, I did see this. <laughs> In the episode, Liv plays herself <laughs> as she and Chucky talk about the episode, Death on Denial. By the end, it looks like Morgan and Chucky are going to be friends. But then, the living doll reveals that fans might be upset if they don't see him in action. Chucky then proceeds to stab the WWE wrestler in the chest and kill her. Yep. The 2010 film Expendables <laughs> features an all-star cast of action movie stars. This includes wrestling legend uh -huh. Steve Austin. In the movie, Austin works for an ex-CIA agent named James Monroe, who's backing a brutal dictator who has taken control of an island called Valena. Their plans get foiled, though, by a team of elite mercenaries <clears throat> called the Expendables, led by Sylvester Stallone. In the climax, the heroes go on the attack, and Stone Cold gets into a fight with Stallone. Yeah, I the think Texas Rattlesnake is definitely a tough remember watching guy, this. But he ends up getting the cane treatment. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it was Steve Austin under that imposter mask. <laughs> sad to watch. In the 2017 movie The Wall, John Cena plays a U.S. sergeant who's investigating an oil pipeline in Iraq with his spotter, Alan Isaac. Cena goes to get a closer look when suddenly... Just checked it the cell. Oh! Oh! Cena and his spotter get ambushed by a sniper, and a standoff begins with the leader of the C Nation left to die in the open. As the film progresses, John Cena comes to and tries to take out the sniper. Unfortunately, he doesn't succeed, and as Cena crawls to safety, the fatal blow is dealt. Raise for me! Jeez. Even the We Hate John Cena guy shed a tear watching this scene. Damn. Awesome. Damn, that looks fucking brutal, bro. Jeez. I think I did hear about the movie. I've never seen it, but damn, that 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 sucks, bro. Jeez. Died in a few movies, too. Damn. However, when Batista dies, it can be kind of funny. In the 2015 James Bond film Spectre, Batista plays a character named Mr. Hink, an assassin working for a terrorist organization. Mm -hmm. While on a train, the animal attacks James Bond and the woman he is working with. Batista is stronger than Bond, but some clever thinking causes the six-time world champion to meet his end. Shoot. Oh yeah, Triple he's H definitely gone. <laughs> in a big way by appearing in the Marvel superhero film Blade Trinity. Yeah, game plays the evil vampire. I remember this. <laughs> I'm like, is that Triple H? He's in Blade. <laughs> I think Ryan Reynolds was in this movie. If I'm not mistaken. 
I think Ryan Reynolds was in Blade Trinity. That's, this is why we have Google, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on. We're doing this live. Ryan Reynolds. Hold on. No. Hold on. Hold on. We got to do this live. I, Blade Trinity. Was he in it? Yep. Yep. Uh, yep. 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 He was. He was in uh, Blade Trinity. Thought so. Thought. Yep, that, that that sounds about right. <laughs> I forgot he was in that movie, man. Well, I remembered, obviously, but I had to confirm, man. <laughs> Vampire Jarko Grimwood, who is basically the muscle for the group of villains in the movie. In the climax, Triple H gets into a fight with one of the heroes, Hannibal King, played by Ryan Reynolds. There we go. If Kings lives up to his name because he's pretty strong. Trump my arm. <laughs> While Triple H does lay the smackdown on Reynolds, mm -hmm. Deadpool gets the upper hand after shoving a bomb into the cerebral assassin's mouth. <laughs> Triple H doesn't need to feel too bad though. His yeah. protege, Seth Rollins, also got killed in his first movie appearance. In the 2017 film Armed Response, a group of operatives investigate an abandoned prison that houses an advanced AI called Temple. One of the operatives is Seth Rollins, playing a character called Brett. But he's of no course guy. he would be in like some SWAT gear like he was in the shield. Of course. Of course. Man. Anyways, the AI is super advanced and develops a mind of its own and locks the group inside the prison. Seth and some other operatives end up turning on the rest of the team. This leads to a fight between the architect and Bink. a character named Riley. Seth is clearly stronger, and even after Riley gets a few easy shots, the Monday Night Messiah still manages to overpower her. However, it's the AI that takes out Seth Rollins what the? once and for all. What was that? This next scene will leave you stratified. In the what in no the horrible CG was that? <laughs> what? <laughs> thriller movie gridlocked trish stratus plays a member of a swat team things turn ugly when trish and her team are attacked by a group of mercenaries as they fight off the man these are some these are tubi movies but before tubi was a thing <laughs> maybe they all they are on tubi right now who knows <laughs> it turns out that stratus is secretly working for the bad guys this caused her to get into a fight with one of the main characters brody walker trish ain't no pushover though and nearly causes brody to pass out however it's unfortunately trish stratus who gets the bullet Bop. Oh, damn. The most well-known movie series that WWE has ever made has to be The Marine. Mm -hmm. Each film has at least one WWE wrestler in it, but it wasn't until the fourth movie that we finally got to see a superstar get the axe. In 2015's The Marine 4 Moving Target, The Miz plays a former U.S. Marine who is now working for a private security agency. Miz and some other agents are- <laughs> Miz as the Marine. <laughs> ...named Olivia, who has intel about traitors working for a U.S. defense contractor. While transporting Olivia, the group is ambushed by mercenaries, one of whom is played by Summer Rae. Throughout the movie, Miz and Olivia have to fight off the bad guys, which leads to Summer Rae's death. Oh! In the next movie, The Marine 5 Battleground, the A-lister continues killing off his WWE co-workers. <laughs> the Miz now works as a paramedic. The film really gets going when Miz and his partner are called to a parking lot. They find two men, one dead and one injured, who it turns out are being hunted by a biker gang. The gang consists of Naomi, Curtis Axel, Heath Slater, and Bo Dallas. The wow. Miz is a superstar, then has to fight his way to freedom. Naomi and Miz get into a knife fight, which doesn't go too well for the former women's champion. <laughs> After that, The Miz takes on his former Miztourage member, Curtis Axel. <laughs> the Miz to Suplex City, but thanks to a distraction, Mizzy acts as the Axe Man. Whoa! Later on, The Miz and the injured man he was trying to save get into an ambulance and drive away. He Slater jumps in, and the two managed to give the one-man band a very literal <laughs> neck breaker. <laughs> Three down, one left. Bo Dallas falls. Damn, the they just taking out all the WWE stars. Yo, what the hell? As <laughs> Cook Building under construction, wow. engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Both men get injured, but it's Bo who takes the fall. Ah! Oh yeah, he dead, dead. 
In the sixth and final Marine movie, the Miz returns <laughs> once again as the main character. This time, though, bro, it's funny that the Miz has really been in all these damn Marine movies, bro. <laughs> That shit's funny, man. Mister is joined by Shawn Michaels and <laughs> Becky Lynch. Miz reprises his role as a retired Marine. This time, he's joined by Shawn Michaels, who was Busy's commanding officer in the armed forces. Becky Lynch is the villain this go around, and her criminal father is about to go to trial. Lynch kidnaps the daughter of one of the jurors and will only release her if the juror calls a mistrial, meaning that Becky's dad would get released. The Miz and HBK end up accidentally finding Becky Lynch and her gang, but do rescue the daughter. During their escape, though, the Miz gets hurt, and it's actually a bit sad. Oh no! Goodbye, oh no! dead, Becky Lynch takes the daughter on a boat. However, the showstopper gives chase. The heartbreak kid and the man go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, with Becky getting the upper hand. However, Sean uses a move the Miz taught him at the beginning of the film to turn Lynch into the dead man. Wow. Well, 2016 movie countdown, Dolph Ziggler gets a gun pointed at him to see what happens. Yeah, I think I've seen that one. On screen. Oh man, the Miz went out <laughs> in a blaze of glory. And Becky Lynch was the one that ended him. Wow. <laughs> that was interesting, man. All these movies and all these wrestlers <laughs> getting sent to the gulags, bro. That was that was pretty cool. I, I like little videos like this. You know what I'm saying? Some of the movies I recognize, most of them I didn't. So comment down below. Let me know what's your favorite movie um that had a WWE wrestling wrestler in it that you can remember. For me, obviously, still it's one of my favorite superhero movies. Spider the first Spider-Man with Macho Man Randy Savage in it, even though obviously he wasn't in WWE at the time. At one point he was. And just to see him bones already. I got you for three minutes. Three minutes of playtime. Like that's always like iconic line for my iconic wrestler in an iconic movie. That's my favorite, one of my favorite superhero movies, and one of my favorite scenes just to see uh <laughs> macho man as a wrestler fighting spider-man in his early days that that was that was cool man so let me know your favorite movie with a wrestler in it but i appreciate all the love and support you guys are showing on the channel road to 150k and i'm still young speedy youtube wrestling champion of the world appreciate y'all keeping me see you on the next one peace